Ready to unwrap a surprise from Consumer Cellular? Experience the gift of freedom with no contract, no hidden fees, and always free activation. Here comes the holiday surprise. From now till December 31st, new customers can enjoy their second month for free. To get this holiday offer, visit ConsumerCellular.com or call 1-888-FREEDOM and use promo code PODCAST. Act before December 31st to get your second month on us. Use promo code PODCAST. Wait, are we do- this is this a Bramble is, Jam podcast. Yeah, right now. Hi, I'm Bran, and I love, 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 love Hallmark Christmas movies. Hey, it's Panda, and I like, 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 like Hallmark Christmas movies. I'm Alonzo, and I am salivating at the prospect of 40 more of these Hallmark Christmas movies. I am Chris Palaha, and I am in, 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 in these, uh, some of these Christmas Hallmark movies. I'm Dan, and much to brand chagrin, even on opening night, I despise, despise, <laughs> despise these Hallmark Christmas movies, and this is it's the, the Deck, Deck of the Hallmark, Hallmark Podcast. Podcast. It is this oh, podcast. Boy. It is. That's what it Welcome, is. Welcome, everybody. It's a five-seater. The, the five-seater. First ever five-seater? First ever five-seater. No, 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 no. We had two students join us one time. Technically a five-seater. Uh, but this is the premiere of season four. Baby. Wow. Um, mm. I see that hand, Chris. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Mr. Palaha. No, I'm just I'm just lifting it up, boys. I'm oh, you're just right. pumped, man. Yeah. That's right. I'm just pumped. You know, I, remember, I remember the very time. first episode. This feels nice because the very first episode... <laughs> Of Deck the Hallmark yep. podcast, yeah, was about w- w- I I believe I, Rocky I had, Mountain Christmas. I had something to do with that. You did. did, and so now here we are, at the beginning of season four. That's right. It feels like I'm home. Yeah, boys. it's a little bit mm. bigger now. It feels like I'm home. <laughs> yeah, and you it's are always, home. You are home because you are in yeah that Greenville, sure. South Carolina. You were not on the line. You're here. yeah that Greenville. This is real. This is real. real. It's you, real. all happening. It's not just. Any old little city. We got our own little Hallmark town here. And yeah, that Greenville, Chris, and you're here. I'm here. You That's could right. go downtown to our nice little main street. It's lit up with Christmas lights. You could chop some wood. We should do that after we this. We should yeah, do that. No, that would absolutely. have been a really Dude, good the idea. Christmas to tree do. lighting on Main Street. Uh, we do uh, it here. It, we do you it. Should call the mayor. It's you should fantastic. say, hey, we got we to. Hey, Mayor, Mayor, Mayor Knox. Mayor Knox White. Mayor Knox. That's right. Mm. Exactly. I mean, I, Chris, I, I love having tangible Chris here. Yeah, tangible Tan- Chris, Chris is, is the best. So I'm live. Is better. Tangible Chris is you, yeah, so, so good. Armor, That's true. Here. And I will just because mm-hmm. he offered. There it is. And I don't want to. Th- also, it, this is we're we're all in the same uh, room here because we're doing the count that our, our marathon. Alonzo is here yeah. from. Uh, we got two LA people yep. mm-hmm. in the same room. And we said the only way that we will, you guys can meet is to come across the country. That's right. To, uh, to, so you to have green, that green That's exactly yeah, right. Just, and you did it. Yeah, because getting around LA is too difficult. That's, that's exactly right. right. So that's it's easier, easier to just fly on over Fly here. across the country. That's, that's right. Yeah. Um, we have everyone that wrote our book here in one room. And this wow. today. Yeah. Wow, we do. Is today the, what's, is today the premiere? Uh, uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's. Today's Monday, of course. Today's Monday. Yes. Yeah. So tomorrow, the book that all five of us wrote that we're on the cover of, it's gonna be out tomorrow in stores, Barnes & Noble, Target, Walmart, wow. Wow. on your wow. local bookstore, on Amazon. Go and get the book. That's yes. amazing. amazing. Get the right. book. I'm looking at it right now, it's amazing. Yeah. And we will all be together again tomorrow because we're doing a little celebratory thing tomorrow night, 7.30 p.m. Uh, with Word Bookstore. You'll be able to live stream. It's $5 and that $5 can also be used to buy a, po- a copy of the book. So if you're gonna pay to get in there, you might as well just buy another copy. Might so, as well do it. So there you go. We may even talk Chris into doing a little dramatic reading. He's gonna do a dramatic reading. That's right. To be or not to be. This that is that question. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. That's not really as good. good as you're walking, but it's good. Give me a walk. Walking's my favorite. A walking? Yeah. Dan. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> a little earlier, you insulted me. <laughs> that's a rumor. That's a rumor. <laughs> Might hurt later on. <laughs> you waited a car. I love it. I love it. Can you imagine if I attacked Dan? Oh, man. On his way to That'd his car. Fun. He leaves. I mean, he leaves in after two from you. <laughs> yeah. Chris leaves after recording this, but he just hangs out outside yeah. until we're done. Right. See you in the parking lot. It's the long game. <laughs> it's the long Billy Club. That's right. <laughs> Three o'clock high. That's right. Um, Chris, when are you going to use your connections to get Treat Williams on Deck Your Home? Oh man. Oh. You know what? I bet. You, trust, I bet Treat. That's the dream. I guess. bet Treat Williams 
<laughs> I bet you right now. He has a movie coming out in December. He He's got Christmas on. House 2. Christmas House 2. Yeah. Treat Williams. Just wrapped uh, Chessie I will, Shore's season six. Right? I, I will say Chris has texted Treat before with the for us and asked us, but he didn't have anything coming out. And so he said, I'd like to do something uh, at some point. I mean, this is the time. This is the time. This is the time. Live every moment. There's nothing to change. While uh, Chris is texting uh, Treat Williams on our behalf, uh, a couple of his really exciting things. One, we've uh, 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 teamed up with Philo. Again, very excited Mm. about that all season long. Uh, 25% off for two months, lasting you all the way through the holiday season, all the Christmas movies you want. So much fun. Philo.tv slash every All the channels. Lifetime. Uh, up, Dak, all of them. They're all, all there. Them. All of them. Your holiday movie hub. Your somewhere. holiday so movie a, hub. That is exactly what they say. For the entire holiday season, you do it for like just over 30 bucks total. It is amazing. Unlimited it, DVR. It's unbelievable. Uh, they're, they're giving it away. And we've got to experience that Philo today, watching all day. We've got to experience, yeah, that Greenville today, some of the restaurants we've been ordering food in from here that are local here. And then also we've experienced Universal Young oh today. They sent us so much snacks from Indonesia all of it's amazing. I had some, uh, what were those, uh, stir-fry noodle flavored potato chips. They were crazy good. Bonkers. I had some peach rings that were out of this world. Deca crepes, the yeah. banana and chocolate. Subscription oh box gosh. comes to your house it every is, month. It has Even been a Chris really, has been in on that. it's been a really great way to kick off the I mean, come season. on. Tight tea with um, cream. And I'll say this, guys. The, uh, it doesn't, it all leads up to the perfect way to kick off the holiday season, which is you, me, and the Christmas tree. We and all, Dupree. You we need all, Dupree. We all the, watched it, which was going to be really exciting to talk about. Yeah. Uh, you guys ready You guys ready to break it down? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Chris oh, is trying to get this. a snack in real Here, quick. Hold on. Listen, listen real quick. That's amazing. Oh, that's good. Right there. That's the people good that don't like that are really not going to like it, but the people that do, <laughs> yep. they're going to love it. What's that, what's that thing called? Where you ASMR. 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 Yeah, people yeah. are going to love that. Yeah. Uh, you, me, and the Christmas trees originally are on October 22nd, 2021, and it went a little something. Like this, uh, we meet Lil Olivia, who uh, loves trees. She loves trees so much that she decides she's going to be a tree doctor. Uh, we then meet I'm a J- tree doctor. We then meet Jack. He owns a Christmas tree lot. And bad news for everyone that tr- that that this year's crop it's trash. It's a trash crop. Uh, he's having to refund everybody. And I don't know much about Christmas tree farm, but that seems like bad business. Um, this has uh, it's been in the family for a hundred years. It feels like he's just blowing it at this point. He's real stressed. What am I to do? Uh, apparently, Olivia, who was supposed to go uh, get married this holiday season, she's not doing that anymore. We're calling it quitsies. Uh, but she doesn't really want to talk about it. She doesn't want to talk about what happened. She just wants to get Christmas over with. Uh, she is supposed to go home for Christmas, but she's not excited about that either because she doesn't really feel like uh, like Christmas with her family's like it just feels like you know here's what we're doing There's no no heart in it no heart. Uh, so when she gets a call from a guy named Connor uh, who is uh, saying, "Hey, I need you to come and look at my trees. They're just just a, a, a trash trash crop." Uh, she jumps at the opportunity to avoid her family to help the trees. Uh, Connor ends up uh, hitting her car in the town square. That's how they meet. So uh, she has to stay there overnight which was not the original plan but she's fine with it because she hates her family she slips um uh, she slips on down to the end christmas party talks to connor they start having some fun banter uh the pentatonics show up and they sing some christmas carols <laughs> um the next day she goes to check out the tree and it um and uh it's it's perfect it's beautiful but in a couple days that tree is dead uh, what's going on with this? So she does some tests. She then makes some cocktails with some trees in the cocktail. Apparently it's good. Decides to stay another night because you just got to figure this tree thing out. They end up, you know, way, uh, getting a tree, cutting it, cutting it down from the from the belows, you know, scooping it out. They lay in the snow for a little bit. It's real romantic. Uh, they keep doing tests. They're waiting, they're hanging out, they're baking because, you know, you got to sometimes. They are really digging each other. She's trying to convince him to diversify uh, his company, seeing as how he only sells Christmas trees. And he's like, don't you dare. My dad would never have let that happen, so I'm not going to let that happen. Uh, The mayor needs his Christmas tree for the Christmas Eve town square Christmas lighting thing. And he's like, just give me a couple more days, I'll have it. 
And he's like, are you sure? Because it looks like to me all the trees are dying. And he's like, trust me, I'm good for it. Uh, finally, they find out that they, they, we've got a remedy that we can do, which is basically like a cough drop, but for trees. And he's like, this is great news. And she's like, yeah, we did it. And then he's like, I think you should not leave. And she's like, I love that idea. And they kiss. Uh, they go to see the town uh, tree and it's dying. What happened? The cough drop, all the things. Why isn't this working? Um, they argue and she's like, you know what? This was a mistake. I'm leaving. She's then talking to her mom. She tells her mom the truth about how she doesn't really feel like Christmas is a big thing at their house. She wants it, you know, to care about what she wants to do at Christmas time. All this good stuff. Then she's walking through the town square and she sees these two guys that kind of look like twins. <laughs> we don't really know if they are or not. <laughs> um, and they're laughing and they're like clearly up to no good. And she's like, I see a couple of boys up to no good. I'm going to go talk to those boys. Turns out over their big mouths, uh, she discovers that they've got some tree poison in the back of their truck. What? It turns out rival uh, Christmas tree farm in the same city uh, has poisoned the trees. This is bad news. And so she goes to tell uh, Connor, goes to tell the mayor, everybody. Uh, they basically stone the other Christmas tree farmer as they should. Uh, and they realize, you know what? We can fix this. So they, they put a really big cough drop inside the Christmas tree. It's going to make it all feel feel better. Um, they uh, her, her parents come into town and they're like, we want to spend Christmas with you type of thing. And Connor... Uh, and uh, Connor and Olivia make up and they're all good to go. They're talking, they're laughing, they're kissing. And that, my friends, was you, you me, and, and the, the Christmas, Christmas trees. We did it. That's exactly right. Wow. Yes, sir. <clears throat> um, let's take a quick break, shall we? Well, yeah. Hear from uh, a, couple, a couple sponsors. Why not? And uh, we'll be right that, back. You need one. Well, yeah, for sure. We'll be right back here on, on Deck Tomer. Let's do it. A lot of things have fallen through the cracks over the last year or so. No doubt about not it. Not going places, not doing stuff. What are, what are we to do in this situation? And one of the things that has fallen through the cracks is my uh, my standard doctor checkup. Yeah. I haven't really thought yeah. about it. I'm not going to go in and do the thing. So what do I do? I want to introduce you to the Zoc Doc app. Z -O -C -D -O -C. Oh, my gosh. It's the best. Uh, it's an app that makes it super easy to find any doctor, dentist, dermatologist, whatever specialist you might need. They can help find that doctor for you. And here's the thing. If you go to ZocDoc.com slash Hallmark uh, and download the uh, ZocDoc app and sign up for free, uh, it, it, you're going to be able to do, do all the things that you need to make the appointments uh, get get the health that you that you so need. So much easier. It's so much easier. Uh, I've gone through the process. I found the doctors. It's super easy. Uh, healthcare should be easy, and Zocdoc makes that happen. Go to zocdoc.com slash hallmark. Download the Zocdoc app to sign up for free and book a top rated doctor. That is z o c d o c dot com slash hallmark. And a quick reminder, this season, we are sponsored by Philo. Go to philo.tv slash DTH to get 25% off the entire season. Uh, you won't regret it. Tammy Philo called. Wow. She says, we're giving you guys the hookup. Another hookup after another hookup. 25% off That's for exactly two right. months. That's exactly right. All you got to do is go to philo. Dot, away. I know. philo.tv slash DTH to get your holiday Christmas. It's a holiday TV. What is it? The holiday hub? The Holiday Movie Hub. Guys, just coin that. That's really good. We're back, everybody. Oh, baby. Hey, let's break this movie down. We got four segments to do that. First movie of the, the holiday season, season four, and it's You, Me, and the Christmas Tree, Danica McKellar, Benjamin Ayers, Ayers. <laughs> okay. We got four segments to break it down. I always start with from Panda. Panda, let's start with the hot take. You are... You won hot take mm -hmm. taker of the year. You did. Yeah, That's did. accurate. Yeah. Um, he's and good at hot takes. He's really yeah, good at hot very takes. Very good. Uh, it. Yeah. So let's see what you have for us here. Kick off season four right, my friend. Oh, I don't know, boys. How about the best Christmas movie this year? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so There's been two of them. Uh, yeah, this movie is fire, though. Uh, absolutely delightful movie. This is my favorite Danica movie to date that I've seen. Hands Better down. than Crown yes. for Christmas. Yes. 
And you Ooh. haven't you haven't seen um, uh, Love Under the Christmas Under the Table in Lifetime, which is excellent. Okay, yeah, I've seen it. Uh, yeah, I've seen it. And that that's fair. I can't compare. But you think it's better than Crown for Christmas? Yes. Wow. I like it better than Crown for Christmas. I love this movie. Well, uh, it is ridiculous. Uh, there are so many. Uh, there's a ton of white what's in this it's movie. It's absurd. It yeah. is absurd. Uh, that said, she and Benjamin have just. I, I I love them together. I absolutely love them together. She seems like she's having the time of her life in this movie. She's adorable in this. Like I just love her character. Uh, love the chemistry there. You know the plot, as ridiculous as it is is fun for me. They it, This is just full immersion to Christmas. Great way to kick off the year. Guys, this is a love for Panda. Great movie. Alonzo, yeah, what, what are you that. thinking, buddy? I love that. <clears throat> uh, I'll tell you, Panda's not wrong. Uh, this is, I, I mean, I think I probably still, of the two, like crashing through the yeah. snow better. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, this is the most relaxed uh, we, and fun, I think, that, that Dan O'Kemi Keller has been in a movie since Love Under the Christmas Table. I would agree with that. Some time ago at this point. Um, she and Benjamin Ears have, like, real chemistry, like the kind of chemistry you don't see a lot on Hallmark where it's, he's giving her sex eyes. Mm. And I'm here for that. <laughs> yeah. Cause like, cause, cause this, is, this is the one dry kiss network, but they look at each other and it's like, we're gonna move this over to Lifetime maybe cause there's something <laughs> else going on here. So scorching. Um, and yeah, I, I think just the, there's a general kind of fun vibe to it. Um, you know the 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 tree nonsense is just the 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 skeleton on which everything else hangs, and the everything else in this movie I think is really fun and charming, and uh, and I like the fact. Well, well, we'll get into the details, but anyway, yeah, I, I'm I'm into it. I, I thought it was a lot of fun, Chris. Listen, I think when you roll out Danica McKellar, she's a heavy hitter for Hallmark. I think it's an amazing way for the network to start Opening the countdown night. to yeah. Christmas. It's a big. She's a big big star. It's the right move for them. And I think that she, I've never seen her more free and more just at ease. You know, I did a movie with her called Where Hope Grows years ago. So oh, I, had the oh I, didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah. She was in that. I yeah, she is. Uh, yeah. And so I've had the I'm sure she was great in that with you. I'm sure she flourished. Yeah, no, no, she's amazing. Um, she, yeah, it really helped her <laughs> career. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but so I know her personally, and she's somebody I, I want to work with. And then Benjamin Ayers. Am I saying that correctly? Yeah. yeah, you are. Happens to be one of the most well-liked Hallmark stars, whatever you call them. Mm -hmm. He, every every show I work on, uh, whether it's a director or other actors, they're like, have you ever worked with Benjamin? Have you ever worked with Benjamin? He's just got a great reputation. So to see them together, and like you guys said, their chemistry is off the charts. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I got a movie coming out and I'm a little, I feel like it's a little bit of competition. Yeah, so. yeah. I give it a I give it my two thumbs up. Two thumbs up thumbs from Pala. Up. I love it. That's bold, man. Uh, guys, at this point, I'm just not going. It's an echo chamber because yeah. Danica was fantastic in this movie. Uh, this is this is like this is what I th like think of when I think of Danica. Like this is what I want. This is it. it was, she was so good in it. Um, and Benjamin, they were really great together. Um, I, you know, the Christmas tree doctor thing. This is gonna sound weird but i was expecting to to like that angle more than i did uh because it's a christmas tree i, I, I know it's because it's a real thing my yeah. man came in and he she he was I, like man was let's like, get some christmas it, tree oh this is disappointing I was, uh, <laughs> he thought they were gonna play because it. i thought if anything could have been written better it's the the tree because i was expect i don't know i don't know i don't i don't want to sound dumb but i thought like you know it was going to be more, more entertaining to watch a, a tree doctor doctor trees, and it was not as fun. And it just felt like, hey, uh, here we're doing a lot of this, and then we'll just go like bake for a while. And I loved baking, but the tree doctor stuff just didn't. Uh, I don't know. I wanted we, to we see like for, surge like, Ray's anatomy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, give me a scalpel. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to cut it open. <laughs> I gotta be honest. I, I feel like for a tree doctor, kind of lived up to billing. I mean, I just I, I don't know. know what you were anticipating. I mean, she she looked tree. at the trees and she said they're not good. Yeah. And she made them good. I don't know what you want from her. <laughs> I, although I know that uh, Brand, you like a mystery in these movies. Uh -huh. If they're gonna if they're gonna like have a thing where they spend the whole time trying to figure out who has the missing ring or where's the uncle with the card or whatever yeah. the thing is, and they set up there's like the, the she's got to sleuth out why the trees are kind of messed up, right. and they don't really do anything with it that yeah. at all. Yeah. 
But aside from that, I really love. If I'm I, that was just me trying to find something, which was Tree Doctor didn't live up to it for me. So if that's the one thing I could pull out, fantastic. I loved it. I saw Tree Doctor Doctor Tree's live. <laughs> um, <laughs> kind of miserable, yeah. in all honesty, and I don't didn't live him. up to. Hi, I'm Dan. I'm here to bring down the mood. Uh, look, the Danica thing that everyone here has said is accurate. She feels like most of the time over the last five or six years, her movie last year, Murder, She Wrote. Not Christmas, Murder, she, she wrote. wrote. Christmas, she wrote. <laughs> she wrote. And it wasn't a mystery, but it was called Christmas, She Wrote. And I called it Murder, She Wrote. Was one of my least favorite of the of the year. And, and, it, and it just seemed like she was just going through the motions. And she seems like she is her old self. Um, and that's awesome. She seems like love at the Christmas table, Danica, and that's wonderful. And I would love to see more of that. We love Benjamin Ayers around here. I got no issues with that. The rest of this movie, I, re I really like didn't like, like my expectation of the, cr of the Christmas tree scientist was that it would be just a, a, a time suck and really boring. And I, it, it delivered billing. That's exactly what it was. I, I mean, I've, I will never need another big party that has six people in in it or an empty craft festival or or just d just dumb on top of dumb I, I the, the movie just was a really tough watch unless those two are looking at each other if those two are looking at each other and they forget about everything else it be, like here's the thing is there's parts of this movie where they just need to let her work to figure out what's wrong with the yeah. tree and they refuse to do it but then they stare at each other and you're like this is this better is than the christmas tree doctor nonsense um i crashing through the snow is way better than this movie in my opinion Opinion. I, I don't even think it's close. Um, so yeah, it's a it's a hard no for me. It's a despise for me for sure. Oh, um, but on. I appreciate that Danica feels as though she's back in form and Benjamin Ayers. I just wish it was a better movie. Like I wish the movie around them wasn't just so absurdly preposterous and not. In a, they didn't lean into the absurdity in a fun way either. Like like they did with uh, what was the not. The other Hanukkah movie, the year that Double Holiday came out, what was the other one oh, that was Holiday like Date. Holiday Date was like an absurdly bad movie, but it was so absurd it became this weird kind of scr fun. like screwball comedy. comedy. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so that they didn't get there to me. And so instead, it was two good performances in a unfortunately really bad movie. But here's the thing: it's the opening movie. It's got a ton of Christmas feels, and so it's going to win over most people because of that. It's got a leg up on the competition. So, do you think it's going to draw people into the Christmas countdown for the duration? Uh, no, I mean, maybe because Danica's, that's a new strategy to come out with, I mean, you know, Danica, Lacey, CCB are kind of our heavy hitters. Yeah. Th those are the queens, so to speak. We think Nikki's the best uh, female that's doing it right now, but um, those are the three queens from a rating standpoint. To come out of the gate in October with Danica... Who knows? I mean, they're they're doing it though. They're 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 stacking the deck. I, I'm I'm surprised they didn't like ease us in and like give us a star that people love. Like that one year, Jill Wagner opened it up, and Jill's a big star, not as big as those three, but like people would tune in. But this is a hey, this is one, someone that you would recognize. Right, this is one of our yes. big fish, and yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Friday. It's Friday night, which is a new yeah. strategy. I'm going to so, say that yeah. Brooke Dorsey brings it this year. It's funny because you know there's a there's a shifting, right? Because now Shift. that there's some healthy healthy competition That's out right. there in the world with Lifetime lot, Netflix, yeah. you got the new network, the GAC. That's right. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of shifting, um, and so it's interesting to see how that's all going to settle. Mm -hmm. out. I think yeah. it's going to be I think it's going to be a good a good, good 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 year. But I, I do want to point out that every year the first movie. Usually one of the first couple movies, like brand goes gaga over it, and then by the end of the year, it doesn't line, wind up anywhere near as top. That's so not, you love it. You love it at first because it's the only. It's thing just out it's there. new. But it's new for it. Okay, like, hold December on. 23rd, you're like eh. Christmas Tree Lane last year was the movie you did it with. Yes, which was, so in a, which was in the top half of my list. I said top ten, not top half. Top half. Top, top ten 20. is really tough. Yeah, I go gaga for a lot of these movies. <laughs> ten out of forty. Yeah, top twenty five percent. That's tough. Nah, not really. Um, let's get to all the feels. Part of the show we talk about one of this uh, movie made us uh, feel stuff. Panda? Uh, listen, I I really like the scene where they fall down by the tree. I know it's kind of ridiculous that no, the snow not. was just in one location. But, uh, man, they, they lay down. They're looking at one another. Uh, and they just have this really sweet, tender moment there. Man, it was uh, it, it did my heart good yeah, to see sure that. Yeah, sure did. Yeah, that was a uh, Campbell's suit for the soul. Brand. Man, I love it when people lay in the snow and just look up. Typically, you don't get a brand there. It's just chicken soup, really, but you went brand. 
Campbell's, if you go put in the promo code DEX, see what happens. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe Panda struck a deal. I don't know about it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You'll be it's, getting a lot of Campbell's labels in, in, in Hallmark movies this year. I have a hunch, just just yeah. uh, based, based yeah, yeah, on the yeah, last yeah, yeah. few years. <laughs> Uh, Alonzo? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'll tell you, for the one for one thing, I like that they were sort of... One of the things that I've liked about the last couple of years of Hallmark is that they're not only not digging out the same old tropes, but they're actively goofing on them, or mm -hmm. at least winkingly letting you know, hey, we you think we're going to zig and we're going to zag. So I liked the, the fact that instead of having the, like, the town gaslights the visiting lady and tells yeah. her her car isn't ready yet to make her stay there, she's like... I could leave. I would rather not because That's I because right. staying because yeah. yeah. going spending the Christmas with my family would be even worse. Yeah. Well, so I'll just hang out here. So uh, two uh, women we've met and they write a ton of these movies. Uh, Nina Wyman Smith, Julie Sherman Wolf. Julie Sherman Wolf wrote this movie. Yes. She is. They have cut her loose to do this. Yes. Uh, she did it with One Royal Holiday. For sure. She did it with another movie we've seen recently or not recently, but in the last year and a half. And she is now that she can do that. She's really good yes. at doing this winking. Like I used to have to write this another way. Now they're letting me actually write it. And yeah. so I'm, I'm, I'm doing the bit instead. And I love that for sure. Yes. Well, you know, what's happening guys is that there's a conversation that's happening. Yeah, like it's a real life conversation between Randy Pope and the executives at Hallmark Man. and the audience, the fans. We have got a brand new president. We got a brand new head of you know head of programming over there. So all of these people are sitting there saying, you know, yeah, we can make the same product year after year after year, or we can have a living organism that's going to keep growing and evolving. And and I think that's what you guys are seeing. And it also just happens to be, I think one wave kind of came in around eighteen nineteen, and now we're that wave crashed. I think we're about to see you know what this next wave is, which is going to be interesting to watch. Yeah, is, for is sure. that is that your be, feels? Yeah, yeah, my feels. No, honestly, guys, I'm a sucker for a good solid kiss. Oh yeah, mm. and that between Ben, the second one, the Danica, second one, the second one, yeah. the first one left something. First the one, one not great. Second one, that was the second one. Second one was great. Yeah, I wrote down the line, not all of it, but I've I've been in this room for 14 hours. I don't know what that means anymore. <laughs> in regards to the kiss, no, there was a, there was a somebody says the line, not all of it, and I wrote that down as a feel, but I don't remember the context of that line oh, yeah. anymore because I'm yeah. exhausted. I'll, I'll tell you what it is. I think this is what what you're getting at here. There's a moment where Danica thinks that she's found the cure, and she's talking to uh, to to Benji oh, over there, right, right, and uh, she's she's like, uh, I, I found it. It's going to be like uh, this never happened, and he says, Well, not all. Like I, oh, that, yes, like I, I would not all of it because I, up? It's right, like, was that you stood happen. up? You stood yeah. up? Yes, yeah. yeah. Said so not not all of it because I. I he I, likes I, her. So I, yeah, I still. Happen. I don't yeah. want to forget you. Or I don't want to forget yeah, that this yeah, happened yeah, or whatever. That was a sweet. And it was so like I love it when. It's just like, you know what? I like you. You like me. Let's just say things like this to yep. each other. Mm. Like, I don't want let's like be fans of each other. <laughs> let's be fans. You're fans. Of, um, you know, I like that. Yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah, sure. Um, there's a comment. I, I do think that they do a good job of the heirs character having a, it's weird. I, my complaint would be he's very stuck on only doing Christmas trees, but also seems like a very freewheeling guy when it comes to fun traditions and being willing to do weird stuff and new stuff. And it doesn't seem to match personality wise, but he has a quick line where he said the th one thing we did as a kid was a PJ all day day. And I just thought that was a cool idea. Like that sounds like a cool tradition, like where you had to wear pajamas all day, regular day. You just had to wear them all day. sounds like something as a kid, like for spirit day at school or something you do. And you really liked it. And I just thought it was a good idea. That was That's my What's happening today right now with two yeah, of these gentlemen? Yeah, we have, I, I mean, I, I'm basically, but are, I mean, it's we? close. Yeah. yeah. So, you know. Uh, let's take one more quick break and we'll come back with the way it was and what the hallmarks. Does that sound Sounds good, everybody? Great. Let's do it. Who's this? I want to introduce you guys, introduce you guys to something fun, which is a uh, Bissinger chocolate. Ooh. Um, Amazing chocolate, first of all, but they're doing this really amazing thing for Countdown to Christmas, which is a 25-day calendar. We got one. We it's did get it. Phenomenal. Super fun. It contains individually wrapped milk chocolate caramel presents uh, with uh, Bissinger's signature vanilla caramel. It's drenched in this proprietary, this is true, proprietary European milk chocolate. Mm. Dude, I tasted one, and it was out of bounds good. That um, makes sense. Right. They got their own milk chocolate. 
And each uh, numbered window depicts a scene from your favorite Hallmark Channel Christmas movie, uh, such as like you know cookies and stuff, so fun things that are going on throughout the movies. Okay. Uh, it's a perfect gift for any Hallmark Channel fan, and they're giving our listeners 10% off their order today by going to Bissinger.com and using the promo code DECK. That is B-I-S-S-I-N-G-E-R-S.com with the promo code DECK. Get your fun advent chocolate calendar today. Welcome back, everybody. Hey. Um, let's get to the Wait What? Spar show. We talk about the things that maybe confused us, made us stop and say, wait, what? What's going on here? Panda? Uh, I, the entire Christmas tree uh, and his farm being, you know, it, collapsing it, it is a wait what to me. Yeah. First of all, like, I need to be abundantly clear. If your only thing is selling Christmas trees and people are, he says, basically... Uh, Everyone's returning them. I'm giving full refunds. I'm giving full refunds. Uh, l let me be abundantly clear. This is catastrophic for you. Uh, we're this is, in December. We are in December. Late we, December. Late December. It's not early November. It's not where you no. have some time to recover. They're, they're a few days out from Christmas, Christmas Day. That's right. Uh, and so not only is the ship sailed like at this point i'm sorry for the guy like ship sailed you gotta start focusing on what's wrong with your trees for next year like the the next yeah. batch of them uh but even if it was early november you're still in a lot of trouble because i want to be clear she doesn't really work on the trees very often uh it's very sporadic what she, she accomplishes literally does everything in her power to not, not do her job in it's unreal <laughs> uh it's impressive it is impressive but to piggy piggyback on that real quick. Yeah. How do they just find this out? How? Yes, that's a great point. You sometimes, didn't the blight, sometimes the blight can occur pretty quickly. But all of a sudden, all of these trees are dying immediately when they're put up in their house. You didn't chop down one in October to put up in your house or to just see what was going on here? Like, how are they just now finding this out? Can I what, ask you guys a question? What happened for all, like, what was the farm poisoned? Or was just that one town hall tree uh, uh, poisoned? No, all the tree. No, no, no. The, the only one that was the only one that was poisoned was the one by uh, town hall bad actor Mc McGillicuddy. Yeah, the rest of them were had a disease, and she had to figure out how to how to uh, fix it with nutrients. Right. The rest of them weren't poisoned. But did we ever figure out? Because no, that was just never, a temporary. They, no, they it never, was a bit of a red They herring. literally keep throwing like these. She's getting out beakers and stuff, and it amounts to, no. aha, sap on a hand. Here's a thing. They never like do anything. No, they with don't. It. But you, again, and her mm -hmm. idea is okay. Well, you guys have to diversify out your your farm. Again. Sure, agree. Don't yes. disagree with that. Problem, that's going to take years. Yes. That's going to take you years yeah. to do all of that. Uh, so I, I don't know. I understand that they're trying to bring resolution very quickly. That whole plot for me just, it, it does not hold up very well uh, under any sort of scrutiny. But again, Benjamin, it, it, that, you don't watch for that point. You just don't watch for that. The plot was literally one of the most secondary things in this entire movie to just them hanging out and making eyes at each other, which I'm, I'm here for all day long. And twice on Sunday. Twice on Sunday. Twice oh on goodness. Sunday. Twice on Sunday. Amazing. I said it. Amazing. He's got it's actually, a replay. He's, he's recording. He's just going to watch. The, I, uh, the twice eye. on Saturday. It's actually, yeah. twice yeah. on Saturday. Yeah. two yeah. new yeah. movies yeah. on yeah. Saturday. Course, so that's yeah. probably the better way now. Alonzo? Yeah. Uh, basically, most of it has to do with just the, the mechanics of the plot. And, and plus the fact that they discuss digging up the root ball for one of the trees you know so they can transport the whole thing because the whole the whole plot is the trees are fine when they're in the ground but as soon as they get cut they start dying really fast and the needles start falling off really fast and it's like okay what if you just dug up the root balls of all of these trees because right. there are a lot of Christmas tree services now where they bring it to you, root ball intact, in a pot of dirt. You have it for the Christmas season. They pick it up in January and replant the tree. That's a thing that happens in the world. Wow. That's a thing they could have done to get through the season to get to avoid the problem that they're having. But no one mentions that. They just keep trying to figure out, well, if we can just make this sap lozenge, That's, we can uh, keep the tree. That's more sustainable, I imagine. Like, yeah, absolutely. yeah, we get to reuse the same. That's pretty cool. I didn't even know that was a real thing. Yeah, totally. Yeah, a that's thing. awesome. You, you, yeah. Just about anywhere yeah. you live, I think you can probably find a, a local service that's that will do that cool. for you. So yeah, that would. But without the, with that, there's no movie. 
Right. So, you know, we just have to kind of... And then the, the only other thing was that they, they, they have the big um, uh, cider cocktail contest, uh-huh. and the people who own the cider place drink like 20 of them in a row. <laughs> That's right. No <laughs> spit with buckets no spit anywhere. no spit bucket, which is like a thing. It's like in all the wine movies, there's never a spit bucket. It's like shot, and shot, Hall, shot, Hall, shot, Hall shot. Mark, yeah, Hallmark because never forget how to make that sexy, I guess. Uh, so they just, just get, everybody gets tanked. I mean, I, got, I had that one because they are just full. They're not doing like, a little. They're just like... Next, let's go. Mm, yeah. That one's terrible. Let's wash it down with something else. Mm. Yeah, mine was the kids poisoning because it was confusing for a minute. There. I was like, "Well, are, all the, are they poisoning all of the trees, or is it a blight?" I was still like, I, I was like, "Wait, I was what? still foggy." Yeah, what, yeah, what, yeah. What, what? What? Yeah. But here's what I am going to say, Danica. Smartly, you know, she writes books for children, for young women, yeah. for right. young women to get involved in math. Yeah. I love the idea that we're sitting here talking about a tree doctor. It was a smart move on Danica's part. Mm-hmm. She's playing a scientist. She's playing. She's she's uh, putting a spotlight on the medical, the tree, the arbor, the the arborarium. The, I wish I could. Ar- Arborists. Yeah. Maybe. I want okay. a word. I in, want in, a in, in no, in, but in keeping with the puns of this movie, she's very into STEM. Yeah. Hey, there you go. Uh, nailed it. Right. Bing, bing, bing. And the winner Got him. So, you know, I thought it was the wait what turned into a aha, good oh. business move, Danica. That's so true, man. She's on brand. Um, so they go to this uh, cidery early on <laughs> yep. before the cocktail thing. And uh, the, the owners who they're related to in some way. No, so they yeah, said they no. were best friends. See, that's they a wait what. Brother. That's a wait yeah, yeah, yeah. what. Yeah. But there, it's... <laughs> they say, "Hey, you want to try some cider?" And Danica says, "It's eight a.m." <laughs> and 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 they're like, "So no big problem." Which is like, also a wait. What we're yeah. about to do twenty five <laughs> shots uh, for the cocktail party. A little I, cider at eight a.m. is not going to hurt I you. I am concerned about that crew. <laughs> but my wait, what is the fact that they are not the only ones in that cidery at eight a.m.? No, no, no. no. there are quite a few people in the background walking around. Hitting it hard. You got to hit it hard, baby. It's yeah. cider time. Cider o'clock. Which, there's, there's a police officer in this movie that I think is Tim. Yeah. Oh, they, dude. The, there, the there was police officer in this movie is a rent a cop. From the movie Cop and a Half. <laughs> no, I, it's the kid who guards the cafeteria in uh, Christmas with Holly. I want to see yes. that movie. I want to see the movie about the kids poisoning the tree. Yeah. Who, who are these people in this community? It's They're, bad. Yeah. What community is this? It's Man. a great community. Um, the dad, uh, it is uh, his dad, I believe. Um, at one point, there's a party going on. And they, 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 they pay in the room. This is one of my favorite things to do in these movies is to just watch the room at parties because it's always awkward. And dad's over here just going, oh, jeez, just doing one of yeah, these numbers. Yeah, he is. And then a little bit later, best friend duo comes walking into the room and they're like doing the, they're like doing a train situation. Like a cha-cha, yeah. There was a lot of weird background I love dancing it. in you, this movie. You know movie. what happens, right? Tell me about it. They rehearse, they play music on a good set. They yeah. play music so everyone can hear. And and then they when the lines start getting, when people start talking, they shut the music off. That's right. And so it's just quiet. And so, so there's people like you can't remembering. Keep rhythm. Yeah, remembering. The other thing is, I just worked with Paul Zeller, director, Canadian, and he said, up. Oh, up. It looks like a Canadian movie. And I was like, wait, what does that mean? Are you, is it like a disparaging thing against a Canadian? He's like, no, no, no. Whenever there's a Canadian movie, there's just no background because they have these weird union r- rules about how many background, how expensive background. Wow. So when you see an empty party yep. or when you see an empty room, Canadian movie, it, you know that it's because the extras are expensive. How about that? Man, wow. They just can't say what you will. They can't afford the yeah. people. Um, my last one is, um, she says this quote that she likes. She has this quote on her wall in yeah. her office. And um, I don't remember what the quote was, but his mom is like, is, did, is that your, did you come up with that? And she says, sure, yeah. And then Ben pipes in and, sh- and he's like, with, help, with the help of this person. And then they do this whole thing. And then he says, it's a, it's a quote on your wall. Yeah. If he had not seen that quote, she was going to take credit for that quote, yeah. right? She was just going to take it. She was just going to roll with it. Was hers. If it, if it, it wasn't was like an ancient Loud, Chinese yeah. f- philosophy. Yeah. She's just like, yeah. Didn't he do our work? It's yeah. like, if I just dropped, it's like, oh, I think therefore I am. That yeah. was beautiful. Is that That's you? Me. Yeah, it's me. If it's no me. one calls you on it. Yeah. Yeah. 
He's not going to just roll with it. That's right. That's right. That is true. He will not. He's not going to sue me. That's exactly right. Not that you know of. Not that I know of. It's public domain, so you know why not? It could be mine. Yeah. It's as much his as mine at this point. Um, Dan, I I do think that the best friends are probably tanked because after that scene, they (laughs) disappear for a huge chunk of this movie. (laughs) They're gone. There's no. They're nowhere to be found. They don't show up for forever after that scene. You're like, what happened to these people that we thought were going to be really important to this movie? Hey, I've got an idea, Benjamin Ayers, about how to make some more money. Charge more than forty dollars for a Christmas tree from your private farm lot wow which has blight it, yeah 20 2021 we're charging 40 bones for a christmas tree i would th- those those are last century's prices <laughs> I, I i like that that's a sale unlike that's a black friday sale unlike any i've ever seen um he tries to talk her into like putting all these toppings into her hot cocoa she's like no plain for me and he's like even whipped cream and he puts a giant amount of whipped cream on it and that's awesome and he does a whipped cream bit where it's on his nose and he's like do i have any here it's a full like ace ventura thing and then they cut the camera away and they cut back and his mug has no whipped cream in it Mm. none Bro, if you're going to make a big deal out of the whipped cream, we got to be consistent on mm. it staying yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, he comes out with this, Jim. You know, my dad always said, jack of all trades, master of none. Your dad in like half of history <laughs> said that. Like that is not... <laughs> not there's not, a theme of stealing quotes in this I think movie. Lao Tzu said that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> my dad always said, I think, therefore I am, is what he said. Like you can't just take that. Like, you know what I mean? My dad always said it's one, two, three strikes you're out at the old ball game. Yeah. That's what he always said. Um, there's nothing we could do. Uh, her mom says, uh, we got to watch this tree. I get it, Danica. But I've got my my very big party with my special gift exchange event. couple things. This party is just her son, her her husband, Danica, and the three other people that have speaking roles in this movie. That is it. No one else is in this party. party. It's It's not a big party. It may as well just be a casual, impromptu get-together. And her special gift exchange is a white elephant gift. That's all it is. It's not special. It is something we all do. It's a white elephant gift. You pointed gift. that out, Chris. That is, mm-hmm. you did. You said that when we were doing this. You were like, that's a white elephant. Yeah. And I was like, you're yeah. right. I can't believe you didn't do it in the way it was. <laughs> you, took it, for, you took it and you weren't going to give him credit. No, I was. <laughs> Thanks for giving that. No, 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 no. no, what you don't know is he said, I'm going I'm to I'm leave it for you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, let yeah, you yeah. have it. For sure. Um, it was confusing, though. I am really happy that the local town's bookstore or local town's store of that has everything had two copies of a book called History of the Christmas Tree. Yeah, they you know had, that's not. You know they, that's not there happening. is no world. There's I no mean, world. You'd maybe one in, for show at best. Not had, even had two of them for sure. That's all I got. Yeah, you're ordering that book and waiting yes. six yeah, days. Yeah, yeah. Amazon's not even. <laughs> Amazon can't find that in two no. days. There's no world. No. It's no. not prime. That's true. That's true. Uh, it's time for what the Hallmark is part of the show where we uh, just ask any questions that we still have that we'd love some answers to. If no one brings up my what the Hallmark by the time it gets to me in five turns, I'm going to be disappointed. I'm just letting you know, okay. but I'm hoping my boy Pan is going to go. Pan, uh, what you got, pal? I, I've got a question about the uh, the the cider tasting. Okay. Uh, I am I am as confused as I've ever been on this cider tasting. Um, and it's not wait what I think that there's probably a good explanation for it, but I, I'm confused about a what is the purpose of what they are trying to do because it just seems like they all have literally the same ingredients to work with on their table. Everyone. Oh, you're talking about the cocktail mixer? Yeah, the thing. cocktail got it. mixer, got right? It, got it, got it. Uh, and so, and then was it a blind taste test or not? Because they have different numbers, but it seems as if. The brother, the brother and uh, his, his wife knew who made each drink, and so I'm not sure how you can be an impartial judge. He at looked that at point. the bottom of it, like at the not the thing. He looked at the bottom of the like he, they drink it, and then he looked at the bottom of the actual container, oh. Oh. right? That's what he did before Danica's. Okay. So he looked but, at it. But wh- why would you then have it numbered like they had it? Like why, why? Because that to me ruins the... I guess after he drinks, he just looks, he can't wait any longer. He I, just I, looks guess, right I, I guess that's just where I'm at. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure what they're accomplishing, especially if it's a cocktail thing and they mostly sell cider. Like, I, You know what I'm I just, just realized is she does spend more time making a cocktail than she does fixing a Christmas tree <laughs> in this true. movie. All, all true. That's accurate. Maybe she's just a mixologist. Yeah, yeah. Well, she, she talks about it. She's chemistry in it. the movie. Chemistry No, I know, but like, yeah, yeah. but like a mixologist, like a bartender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, you, know. you got it. 
Uh, I mean, this just ties in with the general lunacy of the tree uh, plot, mainly that she she throws in a conversation, oh, and then it won't be a problem next year. But how does she know that? Because all <laughs> yeah. she's doing is fixing this year's trees That's that right. have already been chopped down and are are dying quickly and making them not is die something quickly. in the soil, but she has no idea exactly what is causing this. And I don't know how, why she thinks that she's somehow going to keep it from happening next year. That's glossed over real and, quickly. And I, I guess my biggest, the thing that really does make me angry and I get the plot is secondary to Danica and Benjamin and their chemistry is great, but we this is a plot I've never seen before. A guy runs a Christmas tree lot and the Christmas trees are going bad. Yeah. Not a bad plot. I've never seen it in 400 Hallmark movies. And then it's like, yeah. we don't get any, nothing. Give it, yeah, get, find a culprit. Like, so, yes. <laughs> oh, it's the Do spruce bud worm, something. something. Yeah. Like, they never really solve oh, it's it. Killer. And they pretend, like, okay, it's all fixed now. Yeah. Because they can't, they don't want an enemy on the show. No, right. You well, can't have a common yeah. enemy. You can't, sure. even no. if it's a worm. Um, you got one, Chris? Chris? Four little words. Cough drop for a tree. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just a big old thing that's dropping in there. Yeah. I mean. But how's it work? It's true. It, that's, a, that's my point. It's yeah, like, that's a weird one. That's I a, just don't think one. the science is there to back it up. Yeah. There is that cool shot, though. It's it hitting the water. Cool. It's super cool. Very cool I shot. Mean, to be fair, they, they even compare it to the little envelope of thing they give you when you buy roses or whatever yeah. from a uh -huh. florist. Right. And right. and the whole thing of the the lozenge just to make it Last dissolve longer. slowly. And that's what the, the sap on the hand gives her the idea yeah, to do it. Classic sap but on I, the hand. But 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 it's all it's so vaguely explained what the lozenge yes. does. Right. Well, I guess that's it. It's like and all of a sudden, how do you cook a? I mean, I don't know. She cooked it though. Like, Believe you me. Well, and, and I also love work? that she cooked uh, yeah. multiple sizes. Like, I'll just yeah, do the big, big do the big boy for the big tree. Right. We'll dose it up. We'll dose, that's heavy. exactly right. It did right. just look like those toilet patties that you put in the toilets to <laughs> yeah. make them it better. Does. I don't know what that's they're what called. prop did. They were like, yeah, yeah. we have these. Yeah, we can just put these in the tree. Um, guys, mine's very simple, and it is Dwayne Colson. Thank you. That is you mine too. Here's is Dwayne it? Colson. This is the what the hallmark of the year. This is my very. I got two. One is about casting, and another is about of like a specific question that I have about Dwayne. So you might have a more broad. So they did an interesting thing here, where you got Danica McKellar from Wonder Years, and they said, you know, the partnership that everybody is people wanting aren't going to be able to resist this is if she was in a movie with kevin arnold's brother brother <laughs> the the, the brother if movie, she's yeah. in the if she's with the brother of the guy who was the romantic interest in the wonder years that bring the people in that was a very spe specific weird thing Wonder Years reunion. And I'm pretty sure we right. can get the brother. I'm pretty sure we got like the wax museum <laughs> animatronic of the brother oh. from the Wonder Years. Oh. Like, uh, what is he doing? Like, what are the line deliveries that he is giving in I, this movie? I, I, you know what? The more that it happens, because he hasn't he ha he hasn't done anything in a while. I just. But the more that I saw, I actually thought that it was a choice. It was. He a was weird trying one. to play. A, uh, a, a like an overly cocky. But every line like, just went up tool. in the middle somewhere. Yeah, I liked it. By the end of it, I really liked it what he was wild, doing. I thought man. it was great. But here's my question about Dwayne. My question about Dwayne is this: At what point did Dwayne decide to put a Christmas tree farm in this small city or close to this small city to compete with Connor's Christmas tree farm that has been around? Four generations. Dwayne decided, I'm going to compete with these guys. That's an interesting... Why did he do that? Maybe unlike Benjamin Ayers, he's been doing the year-round thing all along. Maybe. And also grows mangoes. Maybe. So maybe he just recently decided, I'm going to get into Christmas tree farms. Because <laughs> the mango crop so strong in Connecticut. It's, it's uh, a big mango <laughs> crop, mango, man. Right, There's no way around. I just yeah. want to know how he came to that decision to, to compete and why he did it yeah. with the four generations of Christmas tree yeah. farmers. Mine was Dwayne Colson. I, I just, I want to know what favor Danica owed him. Like, I, I just, I, it was so, it was so off-putting and weird. He did not fit in this movie at all in any way, shape, or form, and it was weird to see him, and it was clear that, I, like, whatever choice he was making there was just a weird one. I, it took me out of everything that was going on in the movie. When he was on screen, it was, the movie stopped existing. Oh, it was awesome. No. I loved it. You know, I mean, the, the sweet thing on that is, 
the human side of it is, you know, Danica has got this friend that she's had since the eighties and she's yeah. like, you want to come yeah. do, do a movie with yeah. me? And he's Fantastic. Like, sure. Of course. Yeah. And then these two have this fun little beat. It, yeah. it did seem like he was still operating with whatever Tim Burton told him to do on the set of Pee Wee's Big Adventure. That's exactly right. <laughs> and it just wasn't quite translated. Large so well. Marge. Yeah, it was do you know that I was Fred Savage's stand in in the movie, The Wizard? <gasps> really? Yeah. They what? filmed it in Reno, Nevada. I was in sixth grade. Sally Ware was the, uh, no, Sally Ware's my manager. Sally, uh, uh, hey, Sally. Uh, Sally Lear. Hi, Sally. Sally Lear was the casting director. And her daughter West was in my class. So we were all extras. We were little kids in an arcade. That's great. And then the director was like, you know, you're the same size as Fred Savage. Do you want to be our stand in while we're in Reno? <laughs> so then I stood in for Fred Savage and they did all the, you know, the light okay. stuff. That's and fantastic. Then they said, I kind of look like Christian Slater and became Christian Slater's 12 year old picture double. Wow. Me, me, Bo Bridges. I'm not, it's real stuff, man. The Wizard. Yeah, I, I know The Wizard. That. Did you get a Nintendo glove out of it? I didn't, no. Mm, Ooh, but you, but, good, but what's, good on you for knowing that. <laughs> yeah. That's serious. What's the point then? Whatever, you know. Well, the point is Danica McKellar. The yeah. point is it's the same time frame. Yeah. That, that, no, not the point of why you told the story. No. <laughs> what's the point of like just doing it? You know, if you didn't, if get you a, didn't you're not going to get Nintendo glove. glove. I didn't get glove. Yeah, no, I know. At that point too, I was going to be a, I was going to be an orthopedic surgeon. I didn't want to be an actor. Oh, wow. Christian Slater was smoking a cigarette. And he told me two things. One, <laughs> he said Marlon Brando never honored the lines. He's like, always oh, go off book. You never have to. The script is just a suggestion. Yeah. That was that was Christian <laughs> Slater's Classic. advice to me while he's smoking a cigarette, and he goes. And then, you know, you never have to listen to the word. Like, you just do what you want, right? That's the way you do it. And then my mom walked up and he's like, is that your mom? She's a fox. <laughs> and I was like a, a little kid going like, dude, mom, Christian Slater thinks you're a fox. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> That's fantastic. We did, everybody. What yeah, a great first episode. Man. What a great, great way to so kick off great. the season. Um, we got more of these coming up later this week, of course. We yeah. got tomorrow. Uh, Chris, you got a movie coming out? I do. A when Dickens of a Holiday, December tenth, only on the Hallmark Channel. You know what's great too is you joined us for the first episode of season last year as well. You did? Did I? Yeah. yeah. Did sure. I? Jingle Bell Bride. Jingle Bell Bride. Man, this Rowe. is becoming a tradition of its own, it's isn't it? Gentlemen? This is a little better. It's beautiful. Being, being with it? you is a little bit better, isn't it, gentlemen? Yeah, and you, I saved you guys uh, on airfare. Yeah, you did. You're right. You sure did. <laughs> uh, we did it until tomorrow. May we be the first to wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Deck the Hallmarks of Bramble Jam podcast. It's presented by Philo TV. It's produced by Brandon Gray and recorded live in, yeah, that Greenville, South Carolina. Set decor is by Plum at Haywood Mall. For more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. For more information on Bramble Jam podcast network, you can go to bramblejampodcast.com. You're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights on here at the studio. Feel free to listen. Feel free to turn it off, whatever you want to. But either way, thanks so much for your support. Looking for a new career? Welcome to Do HVAC Training Service Center in North Charleston. Enroll today in our comprehensive HVAC training hands-on field experience-based program covering troubleshooting, maintenance, installation, and more on various HVAC systems and ductwork. We offer EPA and NAIT preparation and testing along with various certifications. Enjoy payment options. Achieve certification in under five months. Enroll now for your new journey of skill development and career advancement. Log on to DEWHVACTrainingSC.com to enroll. Choir.